All right, good morning. Hope you're having a nice start so far. No rain to talk about here in Albuquerque, but some areas are certainly getting it. A quick look at what's going on in Albuquerque and downtown. And just a beautiful sight earlier this morning at a gorgeous sunrise. And uh, things are pretty quiet, a little cloudy out there. Can't rule out a shower later this morning in Albuquerque. And certainly we'll get our chance at it again later this afternoon. But right now, uh, many other areas receiving the rain. It's moving so slowly that it has been causing some flooding. And especially uh, down south where we have flash flood warnings in effect right now for Otero County that goes until 845 in the morning. Specifically, there have been reports of flash flooding along Highway 54. That is in this area right here. You can see the road uh, just south of Alamogordo and it's right by Oliver Tree State Park. In fact, a radar has indicated that uh, more than two inches of rain has fallen in that location. In fact, two inches of rain perhaps in the last 45 minutes. Minutes, so that's a lot in a little amount of time, and so you definitely want to be careful if you're going to be doing any driving in that area whatsoever. A wider look at what's happening to the south, and uh, you can see those showers are passing by uh, to the west and are trying to move on to the north, bringing some moderately uh, heavy rain just to the east of TRC. TRC, you already saw some heavy stuff earlier. Uh, this could be heading your way next, and of course, north of that, up near I-25 and up near Socorro, the roads are going to be very wet here, uh, but most of the storm activity now moving to the west out over the Gila and as you can see here it is trying to break up just a bit. It's still bringing in uh, quite a bit of rain and some moderately heavy rain at that but it is looking like it's trying to die down a little bit and lose some of its intensity. As for Albuquerque again things are really quiet here. We may see a, a brief a uh, raindrop or two here in the metro area, but right now most of the activity happening to the east. We're going to keep a close eye on this band here. It was right along I-40. It's passing more southerly. It is also going to the west, and so most of that it should pass Albuquerque by to the south, and it should start to fizzle out here pretty soon. Right now, that was looking a little more intense uh, uh, just to the south and west of Fort Sumner, and of course, those of you down toward Portales, Elida getting wet this morning, and there will be that potential it could clip the Albuquerque area, but for us, it's not looking too good to get any rain out of this. We're probably going to have to wait until later today, and those storms get going over the mountains for us to get our shot at rain. So, wide look at what's happening, satellite and radar, a lot of cloud cover out there, and of course, those, those two big batches of showers out this morning. Morning. As we go into the afternoon, uh, we will have more slow moving storms today. Uh, back to the far western part of the state, we're also going to see a change in that direction. Storms are going to start to move a little bit more northerly. Everyone else still in that same track of storms pushing to the south and west slowly, and that's going to mean the potential for more flooding. So as we go through the rest of this week, more of the same. We're just going to kind of keep using the same moisture that's in place. Over the state, the storm focus is going to continue to be mainly over the mountains, the central part of the state, western high terrain, and of course, slow moving storms. That will be the big concern today as well. As that high continues to press to the east, it's going to allow more moisture to move in for the weekend, mainly out west, where we could see an uptick in activity there. Uh, that moisture is going to mean a better supply for us to get those storms going. More areas are going to be impacted, especially for the second half of the weekend and into early next week. And the storms again are going to begin tracking all together across the state from south to north which is more typical for monsoon season. And next week, it's going to look really good for us. We're going to have all that moisture moving in. And then the disturbance on top of that, that's going to mean even more activity. Feeling really nice out. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s. It will be a warm one this afternoon, 86 in Colorado. A few storms for you this afternoon. Looking even better as we go into the weekend. Northwest New Mexico, Farmington uh, looking a lot better as we go into the weekend too with showers and storms. But a better chance for that even today. Southwest New Mexico, of course, we're going to have to watch for heavy rain here over in the Gila, and uh, we're going to continue with the active weather into the weekend and early next week. Southeast New Mexico, a little drier down the far southeast corner, uh, but the chances look better for you going into early next week. Northeast, increasing clouds with more storms popping up this afternoon. And for the mountains, we're going to have more rounds of afternoon storms, heavy rain at times. Santa Fe looking good to pick up more rain today. Highs will stay in the 80s, and it stays unsettled into the weekend and early next week. East mountains, more mountain storms with highs in the upper 80s and low 90s. A warm one today, metro area, mid 90s, uh, with a chance for a few storms later today. Seven day forecast looks a lot better for us as we go into early next Next week with better chances for rain moving in then cooler temperatures then but honestly can't rule out storms each afternoon going into the weekend for the metro area as it's going to be pretty active we have a lot of moisture to work with to get those storms going all right and be careful out there in Otero County right. too Kristen, thanks thank Kristen. you